everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an actor you know from This Is 40, Ant-Man, and Ghostbusters Afterlife. Please welcome back to The Late Show, my friend and yours, Mr. Paul Rudd. Thank you. Wichita lineman, all right. There you go. Uh, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. We've got a lot to talk about, but I could just, we could just sit here too, because you're pleasant company. And they say, if you can find a friend you can be quiet with, hold on to that person. I'm so happy you feel that way. I feel that way about you. We could just sit and just be in each other's company, not even talk for this entire segment. Who cares what movie you're here to promote? <laughs> Just read a book and... I do want to talk about one thing, though, before we get all quiet together. Okay. And that is, the last time you were here, you may not remember, because it's been a minute. Last time you were here, mm -hmm. uh, it was the day that you were named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. That's right. And since then... Not anymore. No. Well, how does it feel to return to merely being a man alive? Just I'm a man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I'm just alive now. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, yeah. It doesn't feel much different. Okay. Um, I'm not saying you're devoid of sexy. I don't know. I don't think I was really uh, w warranted the award in the first place. Hey. But uh, look. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. no. no a... Come on. But also, <laughs> it's People Magazine. Let me, let me just say though. Recently, I saw a picture of Patrick Dempsey. Well, I, 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 I thought dreamy. you might. I, look, oh, you got one? Okay, this is, this is the reigning sexiest man alive. Now that I get. <laughs> yeah. A, a kind of shock of silver. Yeah. Good when looking I look at guy. this, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. And then, yeah. I, mean, I think we need to put in the dipstick and check your sex level. You might be a quart low. I'm more than a quart low. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, long time Kansas City Chiefs fan over here. This fella. OG. Okay, wow. OG, like not waiting, not yeah, back no, when they weren't winning. No, back like Steve Fuller. Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those 100%. days. Yeah, no, they're, uh, yeah. I, my whole, yeah, my entire childhood, everything. It's weird. You know, it used to be people would say, are you a football fan? I'd say, yes, what's your team? And I'd say, the Kansas City Chiefs. And they would just go, oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> it's a strange sensation. And I think any Chiefs fan will be able to, would say the same thing. Well, second be... consecutive uh, Super Bowl win. Was it as exciting the second time? Yeah, it's unreal. It's, it's, Did you it, go? I went. I went, but it's, um, it was exciting. It's exciting when you win. It's awful watching it. I don't think it's uh, an enjoyable experience at all. <laughs> To be there, you don't nope. like get a contact high or anything no, it's, like that. No, it's 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 just uh, it, I don't talk to anybody. I go with my son, who's equally as passionate about the team as and I you am. You don't talk to your son about it. We just uh, we look at each other, we go oh, and we get so mad, <laughs> and then we hug and high five throughout the game. But we don't we don't say much. We sit on the edge of our seats. Basically, it's an awful feeling until hopefully elation. Right. <laughs> Well, that's some of the best fathering. Just rage and fear. That's, my that's it. And silence. I got two gears. Rage and fear. Mm -hmm. are you and sexy, are once upon a time. Yes. <laughs> are you superstitious? Because some people... I'm so superstitious. It's so dumb. Like, because what do you do? Do you like, have to wear, like, I have to wear my hat sideways? Or yeah, something. yeah, but I mean, it gets even worse. I was sitting, like, we are watching the game, my kid and I, and I took a sip of a water bottle, I, and I put it down on the ground, and then we wound up scoring, and I'm like, I'm not touching that bottle again, and it has to face out a certain way. It's all stupid. But, but, and There's just, medicine for that by now, the way, by the way. I know. <laughs> I think they advertise on the show. Are you a sports, are you a sports fan? Do you I, know? I play a little hacky sack. <laughs> You hacky? I, I, I sack. Yeah, we call ourselves sackers. You're a sacker. I'm a sack man. You're a sacker. Yeah, yeah, I'm a sacker. I yeah, yeah. I didn't have you yeah, as a you sacker. Yeah, you never serve yourself. 
and you don't apologize. No. <laughs> <laughs> you sack it up? Uh, so I've, uh, you know what? I've sacked. Yes. Uh, I would love to I'm see. I would love to see your sack someday. Uh, <laughs> Your sack yeah. handling is yeah, what I'm yeah. looking for. Yeah. Oh, man. Really, no, I don't, I, I, I don't, don't really follow I will sports. show you my sack whenever you want to see it. Thank you very much. Um, Let me ask you about your sack. Please. Sexy? Not so much. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but a little hacky. <laughs> we have to take a quick break, uh, but don't go nowhere. We'll be right back with more Paul Rudd, everybody. Stick around. <laughs>